Welcome to the Rhubarb Triangle. First, a brief history of rhubarb. Southern Siberia, 30,000 years ago. Rhubarb thrives with cold winters and in rich, moist soil. Oxalic acid and other chemicals give it a defence against grazing animals. But those chemicals also give it medicinal value. Your powdered rhubarb is a powerful medicine. Don't take too much. Genghis Khan's men bring two camel loads of rhubarb back from China. I, Marco Polo, have found rhubarb in great abundance in the mountains of Tanjut, China. Rhubarb is prized as medicine. It is under the dominion of Mars and is good against venomous bites. Welcome to the rhubarb patch. Now, in Victorian gardens, rhubarb was, became popular as a fruit to fill the gap between the last of the preserved apples and the first of the raspberries. Of course, it isn't really a fruit. To get an early crop, we force it in buckets, pots or barrels. But in commercial growing, they do things on a much bigger scale. After exposure to the cold, the roots are taken into forcing sheds and grown on in the walls by candlelight. A special night train from Ardsley Station carried 200 tonnes of rhubarb to London until 1966. Rabarbaro Zucca is an Italian aperitif made from rhubarb. There's a statue of rhubarb in Wakefield's Thorns Park and a very popular festival 